guys welcome back to my channel it's Trisha with another DIY project this is how to make over your Lesvik IKEA desk and this is the finished product here so if this is something you're interested in doing or just seeing just keep watching and don't forget to hit the red subscribe button below um, if you would like updates and see the latest and greatest so for this particular project, there are several items. There's too much to list on this board here. So what I'm going to do is drop it down in the description box as well as mention it throughout the video. So this is the desk it looks like beforehand. I know it definitely needs a makeover. So what we're going to do is get started and remove the hardware. I'm using my Phillips screwdriver and I'm going to remove the screws out. So now we're going to detach the drawer. Um, we don't want to paint it while it's on. We want it to be separate. Um, so what we're going to use is the orbital sander this time. I purchased a 220 grit uh, disc for it. I'm using my Dewalt orbital sander. And what you do if you're not familiar is you take your disc. The front side is red. The back side is white. And you want to align it with the holes and just plop it on. And then you turn on your switch. There is a I and an O. The I is to turn it on, the O is to turn it off. So we're gonna turn it on and start sanding. It is the easiest thing if you don't wanna do a lot of manual labor. So unfortunately, we still have to get the sheet, the 220 sheet um, sandpaper. Uh, just cut a little square, fold it over, and get in the small areas. We can't get, you know, use the orbital sander for that. So now that we have all that debris, uh, we want to clean the surface just using a paper towel and water. So now we're ready to paint. Thanks to Jebra, she had a great idea to use aluminum foil in your paint tray. And I want to say this is a lifesaver. This is much better than the bag that I was using last time. So now I'm getting my favorite foam roller. This is the Ultra Smooth Surface Foam Roller, four inches. And I wanna give you a quick tip. There are some prongs at the end of it. And this is used when you're not painting. Um, what you wanna do is just put it at the end of the paint tray, just like so. And it just stands your brush up. So if you're not using this, it's good. Um, so you won't make a mess. So to save time, I'm using the Paint and Primer in One by Bear. I have it in gray. Uh, so we're gonna use that so we don't have to prime at all. So I'm taking my flathead screwdriver to uh, remove the can top. And I'm gonna use a, a plastic knife to, to stir it up. And then I'm gonna use my china brush to get in the grooves first. And then we're going to use the foam roller to kind of smooth everything out. So you want to make sure you have a good amount of paint on the um, roller before you get started. And also you want to do the same thing for your drawer, so don't forget that. And that's what it looks like once it's finished. You want to let this dry for at least two hours. I waited a day just to make sure that everything was dry um, since I'm painting it again. Um, so now I'm using the 18 karat gold uh, spray paint. This is very different, uh, but I kind of like it. And then what we're gonna do is outline our trim. This is where we're gonna put the uh, 18 karat gold spray as well. So make sure precision is everything here, guys. Make sure it's lined up. So now I have time to dispose of the paint that we're using. We were using, um, so all you need to do is just fold it up. I'm taking a gallon plastic bag. Uh, this is where I'm going to put the aluminum foil in because sometimes I know you guys know that there's holes that create. I don't know how it's created, but there's some kind of holes that are created sometimes and the paint will might seep out. So you want to put it in this plastic bag and seal it up and then just dispose of it in your trash. And you have a clean tray. 
So now I'm going to outline my legs. For this desk, I want to create faux metal legs. So I think I measured 10 inches and I'm just going to mark it and then I'm going to put my painter's tape on there. So now that that's done, we wanna make sure that we tape it up and kind of um, put paper on top of it just so the spray paint won't go everywhere that you don't want it to go. So we're outside in a well-ventilated area and we're spray painting. You wanna do the same thing to your desk as well. And that's what it's looking like. Ooh, look at those legs, 18 karat gold. Don't they look nice? So now we're ready to remove the tape. We wanna make sure, be careful and remove it and then attach your hardware. And guess what, we're finished. This is the final look. You can do this guys. This can be you. It didn't take much at all to make this, to um, make over this project. You use the same hardware all you did was just paint it. And you're finished. Doesn't this look great? Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe below and on Instagram at Designs by Tricia. What DIY project would you like to see next? Add your idea in the comment section below. See you next time.